There's a lot that has been said here. Um, some, some that I agree with, some that I, that I don't agree with. But I think ultimately, um, for me, the reason that I'm here is because I, I do believe that the thing that I, I had tweeted earlier, you know, um, bad politicians are elected by good people who don't vote. And it's, for me, it's, 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 so, it's so mind-boggling. We live in such an interesting generation where from here, from this phone, you have access to millions of people, right? You can get information out so quickly. We have access to so much information now, right? But I think we underutilize that power. We underutilize that, that access. And um, as musicians here, we've all had things that have been you know, um, talked about and trending and things that are fun and sexy to talk about, but it's it's another thing now when you bring politics into it. You know, I think a lot of the time, a lot of musicians and artists and people in entertainment generally shy away from that because it's not sexy. You know? Because then it polarizes you and you're on one side of the fence or you're on another side of the fence. And I don't think that's necessarily what we're trying to to accomplish by from, from this um, press conference here. And I think it's the important thing is that is, is what is what Hilary is saying. It's that you have to you have to start somewhere. Yeah. For me, this is going to be my second time voting in my life, and I know there was a lot of the, the first time I was voting, there was a lot of pressure from the older community, you know, saying, "Ah, don't vote for those guys, or don't vote for this guy, and don't vote for that guy." And I didn't really understand why. To be honest. I even went to the ballot and I didn't know who I was like who I was voting for or why I was voting for this person. You know, I'm not going to make that mistake again. I want to be informed about my choices, and I want people. I need people to be informed because while at the end of the day, you have to remember these people that we're electing are people just like us with flaws, and the system as well has its flaws as well. So we're not going to have a perfect election. We're not going to have a perfect. Uh, government this next time. That's not what we're saying. We're not saying vote to get a go perfect government. We're saying vote to start the process, right? Go out there, be informed about who you want to vote for, you know, and that's where it begins. Ten years from now, there will be a change, but it has to start with that one small piece of paper. So it's more of looking at the bigger picture than today, you know, look at the bigger picture. And start now.